is Sonia and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build and to another installment of the squish. I randomly came home from work and wanted to build a tiny home and so of course I went online for some inspiration because I didn't have anything specific in mind and I ended up building this little house which I keep shrinking in size and then having a nice balcony out front. And the whole inspiration was I saw this house that had a big round window in the peak of the roof and I really, really wanted to include that. So that's kind of uh, where this build started. I'd also like to mention that I'm very excited that this house is a starter home. It is under 15,000 simoleons, which is crazy to me. And I was trying to keep it low, but I didn't think it was going to be that low, but it is only a one bedroom, one bathroom, tiny home. I do use the cheapest counters. So take that for what you will, but I was very excited that it was a starter home. And I was kind of thinking that this could have been like a little barn shed of some sort that was converted into a tiny home. So that's kind of where the converted barn idea came from. Uh, so I hope you guys do like it. And I tried so many colors on the outside before I settled on an orange color because I don't think I've ever used the orange siding that I used on this build. I did try like whites and reds and I was kind of thinking more on more of an updated barn style like that really pretty farmhouse like white and black but I decided against it in the end because I love that color scheme so much and I feel like I overuse it and I'm working on a build now that uses a lot of black and white as well so I definitely didn't want to have two of those going but if you guys would like to see one of those more modern farmhouses at some point the like black and white ones please let me know I'd be completely down to build one and I mean like a full-size house not like a tiny house but I could do a tiny house too uh let me know um but of course as well please leave any suggestions for fall or spooky themed builds the channel is going to be overrun with them this month this house like isn't really supposed to be like that it just I was building in fall and I was like it looks cute here I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that when I think of like farmhouses and barns and stuff I do think of the fall for whatever reason uh, so that was kind of fun to do but I have lots of ideas and I'm so excited to spend some time this weekend building oh this weekend's gonna be really good because I'm gonna go see Joker in theaters and I'm very excited so it's gonna be a good weekend um, but we're kind of far away from it now because it's only Wednesday Oh my goodness, this week is like dragging on, but that's okay. We'll get there in the end, and until then, uh, I have this to share with you guys. But as you can see, we're just changing the color over and over, and we're finally getting to that orange color that we did go ahead and use, and I'm pretty happy with that color scheme. Actually, if you'd like to see a build of a black and white, more updated farmhouse, but tiny, this basically, but different style, and black and white, the one I was talking about before that I would love to do one of. Dr. Ashley just did a tiny converted farmhouse, which is so cute. Or was it called the farmhouse or barn? I'm not sure. We might have very similar titles, but I remember she had uploaded something like that in that style that I absolutely adore. I really want to try it, but I'm going to link her video down below. You should definitely check her out. She is absolutely wonderful. She's such a great builder and she's such a sweet person as well. I got to meet her at EI Play and she's lovely. So you should definitely go check out Ashley if you have not already. Link down below. But anyway, we're figuring out the rest of the outside side of this house. I do really like that I used some terrain manipulation here. I don't use it that often and I feel like I really want to do some more builds messing around with the terrain because it's definitely something I really just don't mess with enough and so if you guys have any ideas for that as well uh, please let me know. Some things are just like I don't want to do that but uh, we'll see what happens. Some things I just... I've also been getting like a lot of suggestions lately to build things from specific movies or or uh, shows. And if I don't know the show or movie or I don't like the show or movie, I'm most likely not going to build it. As I don't do a lot of recreations, I've done a couple here and there, um, but it's just so funny to me how many suggestions I get to like build specific things. Like th there's one thing in particular I feel like I get suggested to do all the time and it's from a very popular television show that a lot of people like that I do not like. So um, you might have a guess of what that is, but I just think it's really funny. Um, but I do appreciate all the suggestions all the time. Uh, but ultimately, I like to build what sounds fun to me in the moment. And uh, I also like to mix in some builds that are suggested as well as uh, like some limited pack builds from time to time, which it's actually been a while 
since I've done one of those. I've started and scrapped a bunch of base game houses recently. I don't know why, uh, but I could do one of those. Or if you'd like to see a limited pack build, please let me know which packs because it's really fun to do that from time to time and the restrictions would be really nice to know uh, like what packs you think would be best. I feel like the most common packs people have are seasons or cats and dogs, but I've done a lot of builds that use one or both of those in the past. So if there's any other suggestions, please let me know <laughs> because I feel like those packs are kind of limiting in what styles I tend to build in. So yeah, but I definitely want to do some more builds that are more accessible because I feel like all the builds lately have just been like, I'm using everything. And I like doing that most of the time because it's just really fun. And I do use building as like a way to get my creative uh, side out a little bit more. I just like having fun with it. But I also like to make some things that are a little bit more accessible. So uh, if there's specific packs uh, you have or would like to see me build with, I'll leave those down below. Ooh, it'd be kind of fun if they were like weird ones. And I, I've tried the random pack challenge before. I believe there's a generator on James Turner's website that gives you just random packs to build with. I've done that before and that was fun. I don't remember what I got though, uh, but I I think I'd prefer to hear suggestions from you guys on like which builds or like what packs you have. But anyway, I've just completely talked over this build. I feel like I just rambled explaining the same thing like seven times in a row, but that's just kind of how I work sometimes, especially at 3.30 in the morning. Uh, but the living room is coming together now. I used a lot of orange on the inside to mimic the orange on the outside. I really thought it was super cute. And I did start with like more expensive items or more cheap items. And I did add a little bit more expensive things later because I started with that base game bed, but we grabbed one from Parenthood in the end that has like orange and blue on it. I really like those two colors together. So we definitely used a lot of that throughout this build. And then this bathroom <laughs> for a while, I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. I ended up having to shovel, shovel. I had to shovel. Um, I had to shove the shower into the wall a little bit. I didn't initially with that shower because sometimes when I shove it into the wall, it doesn't work. But this time it did and I fixed that and it's fixed on the gallery. However, if you guys are going to download this build or any build I ever upload or anyone ever uploads, make sure you turn on the move objects cheat before you place the lot. A lot of times if you don't do that, things can go missing, staircases, doors, objects. Also, so I have a staircase out back that's leading to nothing, which is very reminiscent of a certain build from uh, Realm of Magic. And it was accidental on my part too, so I kind of understand like how that happened. But at the same time, like I'm not selling my build to you guys like you, you paid for that game and having no door is kind of weird um however I was putting this here and I was like I actually kind of like that and I did add the door back there but you can't access it and I liked that because I was like this used to be like a little shed and they just kind of switched it up and made it into a little tiny house so you can't access the door anymore and that's really realistic to me because in my bedroom that I had in college, I used to live with my grandmother, it had two closets, but the only place you could really put a bed was if you blocked one of the closets. So my bed was fully blocking a door. So I think it's realistic to have a door completely blocked in a bedroom. Uh, but I don't know if that's just me and nobody else has ever experienced that before, but I thought it was kind of interesting and purely accidental to begin with. But then I was like, you know what? This works. This used to be like a little shed or something. Like, it's fine. Uh, so <laughs> we're adding a dining table on the front porch too because there wasn't space inside for one. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I also really liked adding that lamp on the front, the orange lamp hanging over. I saw that in a picture that I got inspiration from. So I thought that was really, really pretty and I really enjoyed it. But anyway, we are coming to the end of the video here. I hope you guys didn't enjoy this. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. You can also join the Discord server link down below and check out my merch as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. I never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I can't.
guess time's in a rush Leaves are falling down But at least they grow back While I 